What's going on everybody? Today I'm just going to show you three tips for mixing kicks and 808s together. Now, before you start doing anything, I can't stress enough how important it is to get your volume levels right first. This is most of the battle and it's going to make your sound a lot better and your job a whole lot easier. So always start there. Now, my first actual tip for you is something called feathering. This is basically just when you boost a frequency on one track and then cut that same frequency on the other track. Doing that kind of prevents them from fighting. All right, so now I'm just going to walk you guys through how I would feather this. I'm going to start with the kick. I'm basically just going to boost the frequency that I do like and cut the frequencies that I don't like. It's pretty nice. I like that, a little bit of give and take there. All right, now I'm just gonna roll off some of this low end because you guys know the drill. Anything down there kinda just hurts you more than helps you. It doesn't translate well on other systems. It will kinda cause overload in your speakers. It won't be very audible, but it's just gonna make your mix sound a little bit more muddy. So we'll cut this one as well. Just at 30, the typical just so we don't have buildup, because if we have, say, 10 tracks that have a little bit of low end in each of them, it's eventually going to get pretty overwhelming in the whole mix if you play them all at, one all at one time. So now here's where the feathering starts. I boosted this at 235. So I'm going to go to 235. And now I'm going to cut this. Just a little bit. Now I cut this one at 590. Same thing. Go to 590. Booster up a little bit. So you're basically just doing the opposite on one as you did the other. And this kind of helps them to fit around each other. So doing this is usually pretty subtle, but it's going to help you in the later steps. Now you can choose to do all of these tips that I'm giving you, or you can just pick which ones you like most. All right, now my second tip for you guys is to utilize envelope settings, or as I like to call it, ADSR. Uh, ADSR stands for Attack, Decay, Sustain, and Release. So we're specifically just gonna be looking at attack right now. Now when we soften up the attack of the bass, we can kind of have a lot more control over how much we want the kick to cut through because it moves the bass out of the way of the kick. So I'm just gonna solo this out so we can hear what's happening. All right, so let's mix them together. I think that sounds pretty good. Now on to tip three, side chaining. So this is sort of like an alternative to tip two, because sometimes when we're mixing, we're dealing with audio files and we can't really mess with ADSRs freely. So I'm just going to set my attack time back to normal here. Now we're going to start by putting a compressor on the track that we want to be dipping out of the way of the kick every time the kick hits. So in this case, we'd be putting it on the bass track, but I'm going to show you guys how to dip every track out of the way at the same time, or whichever ones you choose. So whichever ones you choose, Highlight them. Open up your mixer. Now we're going to send all these guys to an empty bus. That creates this track, right? 
So we're going to go into here, and this is going to be the track that we put our compressor on because they're all being sent to it. So this is where everything but the kick is being sent. Let's open this compressor. We're going to use this one because I know we all have it. Now we just go in the sidechain menu and choose kick. Turn off auto gain, of course. Now I'll start all the way down for those. Now typically what I do is I go to peak. This makes the ducking happen a little bit faster, which is kind of what I want in this situation because of how punchy and quick my kick is. So let's hear what we got. Obviously we don't want it to be that noticeable, but I'm just showing you guys how it sounds so it's clear. We'll probably start somewhere around here. Now if you want, you can solo out any of these and still hear the dipping. It's probably a better idea to go to this. All right, so that's a little bit much. Maybe we'll try about there. So there we have it. I hope you guys like this. I really hope the tips help you. So what are you waiting for? Go mix.